What up, everybody? It's your boy, Cardboard Moses, in the his house. We're going to be doing 2018 Heritage Baseball, four box break number nine, eBay style. Let's do it. Now, in case you didn't know, there is a, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. I know, Jerry. I know. Mainly because, dude, can I eat, Jerry? Is it all right? Am I allowed to eat? I mean... I'm, o I'm only streaming 12 to 13 hours every night. God damn, Jerry. Anyways. Let's go ahead and do this heritage thing. I do have a full case break on my website, guys. RipCityCards.com. Check us out. Got 13 teams left. I'm giving away two heritage boxes in that break, you guys. The only way to be eligible for that giveaway is to buy a team on our website, ripcitycards.com. I do have a filler, 12 spots left in it, $37 to get you in. And you get a random team. A's, Braves, Giants, Mariners, Padres, Phillies, Pirates, Rangers, Rays, Rockies, Royals, Tigers, and the White Sox are the 13 remaining teams. Now, if you just want to straight up buy your team on the website, check us out, ripcitycars.com, and look up here. You can actually save $15 off your first purchase. Just register for an account, and we'll email you that $15 off code. Giving away two Heritage boxes in that full case PYT, guys. Let's fill it up. But now, let's see what's in this Heritage here. Good luck, everybody. Now, this stuff usually will take forever. However... I am pretty decent at catching the sh uh, the short prints, variations, things of that nature. Um, but everything ships in this product, so no worries on that end. And not to mention, my sorters and I go through every single card and make sure that any variations, short prints, etc., get sleeved and top loaded. So for the video's sake, for my sanity and yours, I'm not going to, you know, flip through every single card back and forth trying to figure out what's a variation and what's not. All right, so let's do this thing. What up, Thomas? How'd you get that 20% off coupon? That wasn't through us, right? Damn, Th Thomas, that sucks, man. Was that a was that a tw was that a coupon that we sent you, Thomas, or was that straight eBay business? Oh, okay. Damn, that sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, if you're interested in buying breaks, dude, check our website as well, ripcitycards.com. We got full case breaks on there, and uh, we usually we usually keep the hotness on there. New product always on our website. Uh, I already ripped through three cases of select basketball that came out today. I'm all sold out of that. Um, but if you're into baseball, man, I got I got heritage baseball personal boxes. I got Donruss Baseball in the store as well. Personal boxes available too. And I got a cool cool giveaway right now. I'm giving away two Heritage boxes in a full case break of Heritage. All you got to do is buy in and you're in. Two spots in that break will be winning a Heritage box all to themselves. You could potentially win two boxes if you buy two spots. You could mathematically win both boxes all to yourself you know i did give away a box and there was an otani base in it ridiculous i'm straight up giving away these boxes so let's get it well thomas that's one thing you won't have to worry about as far as our website breaks at ripcitycards.com you know, we live stream every day. You always have a, a human being to talk to and curse at if you feel like it. 
If you want to call me all kinds of words, you call me a little bitch, call me whatever you want. I'm here for you to take your frustrations out and maybe quite possibly send me some love too once I hit you big time, baby. You know, and I try I try to to respond to eBay messages as quickly as possible, dude. But it, it, it does get difficult uh, when you're ripping stuff constantly. I should probably hire a minion to just respond to my eBay messages. But I, then again, I like I like to personally take care of that. So uh, let's do let's do this heritage business here. See, I got some messages already. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, Thomas, I, I, I completely understand that. And eBay fees, man, those things be racking up, dude. Got a random that. Oh, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Let me respond to this dude here. One of my favorite questions on eBay. What time does this break? You can't read the fucking description, you fucking asshole. Ah, eBay. eBay, eBay, eBay. I have a love-hate relationship with eBay. Mostly love, but I mean, you know, you can't love without hating. I, I think. Anyway. Thought that was a big short print. Look like a fool. All right, let's see something nice. Carlos Carrasco for the Indians Chrome. That is numbered to nine nine nine. Got to random those with multiple teams on it. There we go. Action image for Andrew Benintendi of the Red Sox. Zero one action image. Your boy be knowing. Your boy be knowing. I'm sure I've passed a few base short prints, but no worries. Me and my sorters will catch them, sleeve them, top load them. So it's what we do. This dude, I think, might be a base short print. No, it's not. Deckel for the Dodgers, Corey Seager. Here's an Aaron Judge Deckel for the Yankees. Don't those aren't actual autographs, but that would be nice. I mean, you could you could pretend it's an autograph. I mean, technically it is an autograph, but it's not. I don't know. It's. I don't know. That that that's just weird. But whatever. Big bucks, no whammies. Base short print right here. Alex Reyes, Cardinals. Well, I know short prints based on the code back here. You can't really see it because my camera is not gonna focus on it. Uh, but the last two numbers let me know. Uh, basically, if it's gonna be a short print, if it's an action image, what kind of variation it is too. This number also helps me as well. If it's number 401 to 500, it's probably a base short print. And I can double check it by looking at the code down here. That's why I'm saying this stuff would take forever if I was sitting here going through every single fucking card. 
trying to figure out what's a short print and what's not, we'd be here forever only doing four boxes. Luckily, I'm pretty good at catching them. But that's the only way to know for sure is to actually look at the code on the back of the card. Anyway, the chick in the background, if you've seen American Pie, it's Shannon Elizabeth, Nadia. A uh, customer of ours gave it to me. Let me keep it, I should say. What, what can I say? We, we, have, we have a pretty nice following. Got some pretty cool people hanging out here. Then let me keep that auto. It's pretty nice. And Shannon Elizabeth is is just a babe. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt if she still is a, a stone cold fox. Here we go. Nice autograph right here. It is a little creepy smile, but I just pretend to fill it up with something else. You know what I'm saying? We have Austin Hayes of the Orioles. She can she can keep that creepy ass smile. That's fine. That just that just helps the imagination. You know what I'm saying? That is true. I, I I've seen enough of this stuff where I can just look at it and be like, hmm, that's different. Austin Hayes rookie card on card auto, very nice. I'm saying that I that I imagined me fucking her in the face. That's what I'm saying. Breaker addiction. Christian Arroyo. That is also a base short print. See? Your boy your boy just be knowing. I mean I know I'm I'm pretty sure I passed a couple. I just I just got lazy, but now I'm just flexing the knowledge right now. I hit a Mike Trout uh red ink uh earlier this week. That dude's heritage is just gorgeous. It is it is very hard to hit, but when you do, oh man, so nice. Another base short print here, Kurt Suzuki, Braves. See, 475, code 85 on the bottom. Yes, sir, Dean Kane, sir. Deco for the uh, Dodgers, Cody Bellinger. Looks like. What up, Jason? Uh, yeah, Jason. I'll, I'll do that after I'm done with this break, man. Sorry, I had I, I have not uploaded it yet. Michael Ray picked up a Donruss personal. I got you, Michael. I'm gonna hook you up with that uh, once I'm done with this break. Pirates and Heritage are gone. I see someone save fifteen dollars on your first purchase. Shoutouts to Gregory Ward. Thank you for picking up the Pirates. Guys, Heritage Baseball down to 12 teams. Uh, because I didn't feel like doing it, Breaker Addiction, honestly. I was just like, oh, whatever. That and he, sometimes I got to put him on timeout. Sometimes I got to put him on timeout. Eduardo Rodriguez, Red Sox, base short print. 478 that lets me know it's a base short print breaker addiction you you just you just like to see abraham don't you these aren't short prints but they're like kind of short printed uh, from what i hear the black border means they're numbered to less than 50 or something like that but it doesn't say on the back, which is really confusing to me. Uh, oh, oh, really, Breaker Addiction? It's not me, but... Oh, hey, you see, Abraham? You fucking rascal. Anyway, Irvin Santana, twins right there. I hit that uh, Judge Error card a few breaks ago, too. That Tapia is a base short print for the Rockies. I mean, I, I guess breaker addiction. I guess. Hold on. You've been uh, you've been called up, Abraham. You've been called up. Yo. What up, y'all? So y'all want me to bless this break? All right. 
Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Boom. Who else has a talking, like, gerbil marsupial? I don't know what he is. He's a cyborg. He's a combination of a lot of things. What else we got? Got that bad boy right there. Dude is my trademark. Get, are you for real? <laughs> How close is Donruss? It's at 18 spots. Heritage is actually at 12, so that one's really close to filling. But Donner's right now is at 18. <coughs> Michael Ray, where you at? I know you're probably watching, creeping on your boy. How goes the how goes the kitchen, Ray? You, you had any 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 uh any issues? Anything you want to share with the rest of the class? Maybe I don't know. All right, I'm honestly getting tired of answering the same questions. Uh, Jeremy Bracken, what what break ex what break are you uh asking about? I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Well, hold on, this is. Is this this dude is watching a break from like last night or something? Yeah, March six. Wow. Okay, whatever. I'm not even gonna bother responding to that one. Yeah, watching an old break. Okay, that's cute. Michael, there you are. I thought I thought I thought as much. Raptors giving the Rockets all they can handle tonight. What's the score of that? You know, if the Heat aren't playing, I honestly do not care. And we got a big game tomorrow, too. We play against the, the Wizards. We need that W so we can move up in the standings a little bit. Not that it really matters. Uh, you know, I'm fairly confident that my Heat can beat anybody in the East on any given night. But, you know, having maybe first-round home court advantage would be nice. The Heat were in fourth place at one point in the season. Then we had a skid for like two, three weeks there that knocked us all the way down to, to the eighth seed. We're currently at the seventh seed. I think we can move up a little bit more before the end of the season. I think we got like another three or four weeks in the season left. UNC and Duke, the ACC semifinal coming up. That might be a good one. Wow, Rockets might lose tonight. I think they have like a 17-game winning streak going or something like that. Do this for my dude. All 
I don't even know this dude's Twitter handle. So I can't like tag you in it. <laughs> what is this dude's Twitter? Oh. No, JB335. That's not it either. Oh, JEB three five five. Okay. Bam, in your face. Sorry. Hugo, you seen the zebra of uh, James Harden? Yeah, that was a pretty sick card, too. Those zebras are no joke, man. They're selling for pretty good guapage on, uh, on the bay. That's a short print. <laughs> See, I don't even got to look at the back of the cards anymore. God. Uh, Mr. O for the Cardinals. I'm not even going to attempt to say that dude's name. That's That would just be highly disrespectful to my dude. Salvador Perez of the Royals. No cheese on it. Would have been nice if that was an actual autograph. That would have been the cheese, but hey. You know, nobody ever gives me credit for my for my Royale with cheese. I guess nobody's seen uh, Pulp Fiction. Joey Votto of the Reds with the mini. What it do, Tomas? How was your nap? Uh, Michael, you are funny. Sometimes I like I I do question myself some with some of these, but I got them kind of down pat. But not really. You know, Cardboard Moses is infallible. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not perfect. My afro might be perfect, but me, no. Not so much. Hmm. Let's see, like an error card or a nickname card. Something cool, man. Yeah, select is uh has been put to rest. I wish we had more, dude. Seriously, Charlie Blackman of the Rockies with a patch. Pretty sure that's a base short print. <laughs> no, it's not. Dang it! Not looking good. This one's a base short print. There you go. All right. I know that because I'd never seen this dude before. Chad Bettis of the Rockies, base short print. Got to random these flashback cards. Did you also take a nap because you got a little something something coming over later tonight, Tomas, and you got to lay the lay the smack down on that thing? You know what I'm saying? And Duhar and Frazier for the Yankees. That black border on that. I think are numbered to 50. That's what somebody told me anyway. And nobody's corrected me yet. So I'm just going to just gonna assume that's what it is. A base short print here for Young Gervis Solarte. Blue Jays. There you go. Your boy be, your boy be knowing, dog. Your boy be knowing. 
I'm glad somebody's getting laid. I'm just gonna have to continue fucking myself. I think that's a base short print too. Yes, sir. Shin Su Chu, bless you, for the Rangers. Base short print. I try to be funny. Is there, are these jokes doing anything for anybody? She likes being called Chichona. What the hell? This is a big short print for show. Yup. Ricky Nolasco, Angels. Big short print. Got to write on that and that. Victor Robles or Robles or whatever. For the Nationals, Deckel. That's such a weird word, Deckel. Deckel. For the Mets, Jacob deGrom. To 569. Tomas, did you see the Larry Bird autograph from Select? Did you did you happen to catch that one? If not, it's on the gram. It's pretty it's pretty fire. It's pretty fire. Oh, you seen it? Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Pretty disgusting. Chich Chich Chicona is big boobies. I love big boob. I'm, hey, I'm right there with you. That reminds me of that movie. What's the name of that movie? I need to lay off the weed. Uh, I think it's called Role Models. I think it's the name of the movie. Where the, the dude from American Pie... What's, I forget the actor's name. Michael Scott? Or, I don't know. No, that's the dude from fucking Dunder Mifflin. Or, anyway, he's like, I like boobies. I like boobies too, you know? Whatever. Anyway, let me just shut up. Uh, yeah, I thought Chicona was like... I don't, no, I don't know. Sean Scott, there it is. I said Michael Scott. That's fucking Dunder Mifflin, dog. It's a great movie. Role Models definitely deserves a Role Models Part 2. That movie is amazing. But there's that scene with him and the little the little kid where they're like, Oh, I like boobies. And he's like, yeah. Did you see those boobies over there at 12 o'clock? The kid turns his head and he's like, oh my god. And then he's like, did you see those, 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 uh, <laughs> they're like hills shaped like boobies? And the little kid's mind is like blown. He's like, don't worry, I'll teach you. You got, you got, <laughs> you got, you got potential, kid. Ah! Oh, that movie's so good. I need to watch that shit again. That shit's great. That's what I thought it was, Breaker. I thought it was like a chichong or something, like, like a, like a, like a bump on your head or something. But I guess it's the bumps on, on, on the chest. Those are the only bumps that count. You know what I'm saying? You know, Colombians, we just call them tetona, straight up. You know, I know Mexican girls be referring to their fucking tits as, like, chichis. And I'm like... I remember I was fucking around with this one little Mexican chick, and she's like, Oh, aren't you going to show my chichi some love? And then I was just... I was like... I did it! Of course I did it! But then when I went home and I thought about it, I was like, I cannot... I cannot date someone that refers to their... To their tatas as chi chis. No. Chi chi to me is like 
Not only is it a Dragon Ball Z character, it's Goku's wife, nerd, alert, ignore that. But, like, Chi-Chi kind of reminds me of, like, I, I don't like the, using the word boobs. I don't like the, you know, to me, a boob sounds like someone who's really stupid. So when I hear somebody talk, to, talk about their Chi-Chi's, it's like, how old are you? Can't you just call them titties or breasts? Like, hmm. My chi -chis. Shut up. I'm still, I mean, I'm still going to fucking motorboat them, but, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have conflicting views. Yeah, get, I mean, at least get creative if you're going to call them something. To me... You know, boobs, no disrespect or no offense to, to, to people that are retarded. But that's kind of what I think of when I think of a boob. I think of a, you know, a retard or something. Like, oh, a boob. Oh, you're a boob, my boobies. Shut up. At least call them, like, something, something cool. Well, the sun is down, Mike, so there's that. But, yeah, dude, like, call it something cool, man. Listen, I love boobies, too. Tomas, I love them all. Small, big, white, brown, yellow, purple, and orange. I don't care. Big nips, little nips, no nips, all nips, whatever. Bring it. Anyway, got, got a little out of control there. That's what happens when I'm opening a fuck ton of packs. I kind of just entertain myself and you guys. Mostly me, while I open up all those packs. But it's time to get to work now. Where the base short prints out for the peeps. Where the errors at? Where, where where the big ones at? Come on, dang it. Yeah, Thomas, did we just become best friends? I do have a magenta back on here. That is a super short print, I believe. Code 85. Well, no, it's still just a base short print. But the fact that it has a magenta back just kind of makes it a little tad more special. So much so that I'm going to top load it. I mean, the other one's going to get top loaded too. But uh, I just want to do that like right now. Anyway. Gary Sanchez of the Yankees refracting. That's numbered to 569. And what do you know it? There it is. Your boy be knowing. Mostradamus be knowing I'm I'm calling I'm I am boom new nickname alert Mostradamus Clint Frazier of the Yankees Deckel The Raptors are actually gonna win against the Rockets huh good for the Okay let me ask you a question though Are they playing on the road or, or what like I think there is a law against that, Thomas. I think there is. If not, there should be. There really should. That's a base short print. Jose Urena. Oh, they're playing in Toronto? Well, there you go. That's why they're winning. That's the only reason they're winning. You know, it's it's for some reason, people don't play well in Toronto. Mainly because they're, they're probably because they're so fucking bored because there ain't shit to do in Toronto. Max Scherzer of the Nationals. By the way, if you're from Toronto, it's all in good fun. I'm just joking. I think, is that a color error? No, it's not. For the Cubbies, Addison Russell, the patch... Who are the Jazz playing? Jazz have been on a streak, man. They've been balling. Which I'm happy for them, dude, because nobody thought the Jazz were going to do anything. And here comes little old Donovan Mitchell. Just fucking killing fools on a nightly basis. That kid is special, man. I know, I know all the teams that passed up on him are kicking themselves in the dick right now. 
Zach Davies of the Brewers Chrome. That's the 999. Wait, the Timberwolves played the Rockets? I thought the Rockets were playing the Raptors. What's going on right now? That's a creepy smile if I've ever seen one. So creepy, it's a base short print. Rich Hill. Dodgers. We have Altuve Astros, Deckle. What up, James? Let's kill some Donruss. Uh, are you talking eBay, though? I got the full case in the store. I'm giving away two boxes. So, James, I'm putting in my... I'm doing my due diligence. I'm, I'm trying to give stuff away. So, call your friends. Get them in here. And let's rip some stuff, y'all. Optic needs to go, too. Optic needs to go, too. So let's, let's get to work, folks. Let's get to work. I'm giving away two Heritage boxes in the Heritage PYT. And I'm giving away two Donruss boxes in the Donruss PYT. So get your teams. Got to be gotta, gotta get in it to win it. Paul Goldschmidt of the Diamondbacks. That's an action image. Code 01. Yeah, Choking Chickens. I, I don't know if they're going to win 7-plus seven, seven easy. But I think they will at least win a couple games for show. I mean, listen, if memory serves correctly, the Browns didn't win a single game last year. However, it's not it's not like they weren't competitive. You know what I mean? Like, all the games, I think, were, like, close. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what's happening, Breaker. Tyrod is like a stopgap for one season, just just to develop the rookie that they're gonna draft, and boom, they're you know, they're 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 laying the foundation this first season, and they're gonna build on it next season. Or at least that's what I'm thinking. You know, they I, I agree they should not have got gotten rid of Kaiser. But I'm sure there was some some dollars, some you know something going there that they I don't know. Who knows what the Browns do? Not even the Browns know what they're doing. Oh, it's been two years since they haven't won a single game. Holy fuck! But I mean, they're competitive though. They are competitive. You know, it's not like they're out there getting blown out by 40, 50 points every game. They're losing games by like ten. Three points, a touchdown, you know what I mean? I agree, Choking Chickens. That's exactly what I think they're going to do. They're going to draft Saquon with the first pick. With the fourth pick, they're going to find that they're going to get the best quarterback available. And then from there, they should, you know, cons they should consider getting some O linemen to protect the quarterback and, you know, maybe. Add some wide receivers. But yeah, I mean, listen, Brown still ain't going to do shit. And the reason he got injured because he didn't have an O-line to protect him. And somebody was talking shit about Andrew Luck earlier. Shame on you. Since he was drafted in the league, Andrew Luck was the most hit quarterback out of all the quarterbacks. You want to know another one that, uh, that, uh, that also uh, applies to? Ryan Tannehill for the Dolphins. The most sacked quarterback since he's been in the league. What does that tell you? Their O lines are garbage, and both have injury his have injury histories. 
Andrew Luck is a little bit more serious than Ryan Tannehill, but I mean, you can't. I'm not gonna call Andrew Luck Mr. Glass. I mean, come on, the guy, the guy put the team on his back, and he was getting constantly hit with that garbage O line. I mean, Miami does suck. You, I mean, James, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> tell me something I don't know. We didn't, we dude, we didn't, we didn't lose anything actually. Breaker addiction. We actually, we we move we we cleaned 16, 16 million off the books. I don't know about that, choking chickens. I don't know about that. You know, I think what we've done, what we did last season was just get rid of players that are that are not, that are a problem, basically. We did it with Jay Ajayi, and we just did it with Jarvis Landry. Now, Jarvis Landry, I don't know what's going on with him and Coach Gase. Same thing with Jay Ajayi, but they were butting heads. So Coach Gase is pretty much getting rid of, like, all the problem children. Uh, James, say something more about Jay Cutler, and I will ban you. You've been warned. F matter of fact, anybody mention Jay Cutler any again, I will ban you. You've been warned. All right, let's continue. I don't want to hear anything about that man anymore. Oh, I was about to ban you, Mike. I seen Jay, but then you hit me with the Ajayi. All right. Freddie Freeman Braves patch. You know, appa apparently Jay Ajayi and Jarvis Landry were like po problem children in that locker room. And Coach Gates got rid of them. So, yeah. Manny Machado, Orioles. I, I really like Coach Gates. I really like Coach Gates. So, I don't know, man. Hopefully, we can make some moves. It wouldn't be, Look, really, it would not surprise me if we don't win a single game next year. It really wouldn't. Especially if Ryan Tannehill is going to be our quarterback. I fucking hate Ryan Tannehill. Uh, Astros, Justin Verlander. That is number to 569. Bring him back Romo to the Dolphins. As Honestly, I would rather have him than Ryan Tannehill. But, dude, Tony Romo, I mean, Tony Romo's a, a great quarterback. Jerry, you th you think I'm playing, dog? You're no longer a mod, and I'm a, and I'm gonna put you on timeout, Jerry. You're on timeout, Jerry. Let that be a lesson to you. Let let go ahead. Somebody else mention uh, Jay Cutler. See what happens. Let somebody else mention Jay Cutler. See what happens. Breaker addiction. I don't know what you, what what you heard. I, I talk a lot of shit. Carlos Correa of the Astros with the action image. Dude, I'm so serious. I don't want to hear anything about Jay Cutler. Jason. Okay, that I will allow. That I will allow. Base short print, Carlos Rodon. I hope that dude can take a joke, cause Jerry, I love you, but don't play up. I don't play up on my Dolphins, dog. I don't play up on my Dolphins. Flashback right here. Teddy Bridgewater would be amazing with the Dolphins. In theory, Mike Trout, Deckel. What concerns me with him is his injury, man. He hasn't played in two years, roughly. He has. He hasn't. He hasn't played in two years, so that could, that's a concern. You know, before he got injured, he was having a really good season, but then you know he got that really disgust, like terrible injury, dude. 
And I, I really like Teddy Bridgewater, man. I really like him, but I don't know about that injury, dude. The kid's 25, so I, I do think he deserves a chance on a team. I just don't know if I want that team to be the Dolphins. Michael, I was about to ban you, but then I read the rest of the comment, and there you go. What else we got? Jerry, I love you. I just want you to know that if you're still watching, I hope you I hope you're not butt hurt. It's all in good fun, man. But but never mention Jake Cutler in a positive light. He he needs to be whatever. Oh my god, I just need to fuck I fucking hate Jake Cutler. Eugenio Suarez Reds, uh base short print. Got a few things I need to random on this one. Yo, Cutler does have a hot wife. I will say that. Cutler does have a hot wife. I would I would definitely drop a bukkake all over that. And then make Jay Cutler eat it. Chris Sale, Red Sox, Deco. Man, things just got really inappropriate. Uh, Breaker Addiction. I love you, dude, but you're going to be on timeout, dog. You're on timeout. You're on timeout. Put you on timeout. Hit me with that foolishness. What's wrong with that guy? And there we go. Done deal with this. I'm going to put everybody on timeout tonight if that's the case. Fucking hate Jay Cutler, man. You got, yo, oh my God, you don't understand. You don't understand how many times I wanted to, like, rip the hair from my scalp. I fucking hate Jay Cutler. I really do. I really do. I never thought that I could hate another quarterback more than I hate Ryan Tannehill. And that quarterback is Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler's mom is on Tinder. Hit that up, Jason. Hit that up. Knock it up. That way you become Jay Cutler's stepdaddy. And then you can spank him. Oh, dude, Bob Greasy. God bless that man's soul. The only perfect quarterback in NFL history. Two-time champion. Oh, God bless. God rest his soul. All right, let's see what's in this stuff here. What's 300 seconds? Like five minutes or something? Ooh, Ray. That's borderline. Ooh. Mm. Don't make me put you on timeout, Ray. Stan Williams of the Indians, though, with the 69 bite back. Yeah, you guys just you guys just wanna fuck with me, I see. The other sixty nine, almost fumbled it. Ron Reed of the Braves. I would I would love it, Tomas. I would. There are your sixty nine buybacks, Braves and Indians. Let's see what we have in the box topper here. Dodgers on the back, Yankees, Blue Jays, and then those on the side there. I'm going to have to put all the teams on this one for the randomizer. All right. Thomas, okay, I see you. Okay. I was going to I was going to put you on timeout, but then then I seen it. I seen the real message. Okay. Orioles on the back, Indians, Red Sox, Rockies on the front. All right. Things to random. Let's start off the, the random party here. This one's going to be really easy to do. It's either going to go to the left side team or the right side team. Odd number, left side team. Even number, right side team. 
Odd left, even right, odd left, even right. Here we go. The number zero. That's not a number, technically. So let's keep going. The number three. That's an odd number, which is the left side. So these cards go to the left side team. So we got Nationals, Giants, A's, Cubs, Mets, and Orioles. Two teams. He's going to go to the left side team. Now let's do the three teams. Oh, the first card is both nationals. Huh. Look at that. You got me on that one, but the other ones are not. There you go. All right, cool. Anyway, three teams on that. Seeing as how we already rolled die for it, we're going to go three times in the randomizer. This is going to be for these cards right here. Let me put the randomizer on the screen. Booyakasha. So we got the left side team. We got the team in the center. And then we have the team on the right. We're going three times in the randomizer. Good luck, y'all. We got one, two in the money shot. Three is going to the left side team. Meaning it's going to this side. So we got Dodgers, Indians, Nationals, Mariners, Dodgers, Red Sox, Indians, Marlins, Yankees, Rockies, Dodgers, Indians, Dodgers, Mariners, Yankees, Indians, Rockies, Marlins, Red Sox, and the Nationals. Boom. I know, Fitz. I can't help myself, man. Fucking habits, old habits die hard, dog. You know this. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. And, you know, while I have it pulled up, I might as well keep using it. So I got, I assign numbers for these. So we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, breaker addiction. That was funny. So I'm going to let that, I'm going to let that slide. Because that was just funny. That was just straight up funny. Making me laugh supersedes everything. Random time. Here we go. Going three times, two in the number three. Boom. The three is on top, meaning it's going to that team. So we have Royals, Rockies, and Royals. Badoosh. All right. We have another thing to random, which is these flashback cards. These get random between everybody in the break. Yay! So let's go ahead and pull up the randomizer. We're going three times there. So let me go ahead and grab the, uh, the teams. I can't use copy and paste on Firefox, apparently. That's dumb. There it is. I didn't do it, did I? There we go. All teams there going three times. Top team wins the flashbacks. Got one, a Tahu, and a three. How many licks does it take to this to get to the center of a, of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Y'all remember those commercials? No? Just me? Whatever. All right, so these go to the Angels. I am not a grok. And, you know, in the Photoshop moon. Should I stay or should I go? All that stuff going to the Angels. And last but not least, we got these boys to random, the box toppers. It's either going to go to the left, middle, right team, or the team on the back. Now, this one, depending on if it ends up being the right side team, is going to have to do another random for this. So uh, let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Randomizer time. We got left. Later, Thomas. Left center. Right. And the back. William. That's because you, you, you're a real one. 
All right, we're going three times in the randoms. Let's do it. Uno, dos. We're going to learn a little Spanish today. The number three, trace. Oh, damn. Ain't that some shit. All right, so it's going to the right side team. All right, cool. So box toppers. Are going to go to the right side team. At least this one is. This one's going to the Rockies, right? But this one, seeing as how we picked the right side, is going to go now between all these uh, three teams. So let's go ahead and pull the randomizer up. We got Nationals, Mets, and D-backs. So we have the Nationals, we have the Metaronis, and the uh, Diamond Box. Can't spell Diamondbacks. Three times. Here we go. One, two, and the money shot three. Let's go into the Nationals. Let's go into the Nationals. So this box topper goes to the Nationals. And this box topper goes to the Rockies. Boom. The Moses has spoken. And now that all my randoms are done, let's go ahead and recap. So, not much to recap, honestly. Aside from the patches, Freddie Freeman Braves, Addison Russell Cubs, Charlie Blackman Rockies. And we did have an autograph. It's for the Orioles. Austin Hayes rookie card on card auto that's nice and that was the break y'all we talking about 2018 heritage baseball four box break number nine eBay style thank you very much we'll get that out to you